Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to customize the Grinch. Now, I have another video from many years ago on how to customize your images. All you have to do is go on Google and get a coloring page. Then you're just going to select the image that you would like. You're going to right click and copy. Then you're going to go into Silhouette Studio and you're going to right click and paste. I am going to be using Silhouette Business Edition. I have several tutorials on how to use Silhouette Business Edition. Um, I'm going to leave the playlist down below and then like I said, I'll leave the link of the other tutorial as well. Alright, once you have your image inside of Silhouette Studio, you are going to go to your trace icon which is all the way on your right. It looks like a piece of toaster, some people call it a butterfly, so we're going to call it a toasted butterfly. You're going to click where it says select trace area and you're going to make a box around your image. You're going to wait until everything gets highlighted yellow and you can play around with the threshold. Make sure that everything's highlighted but not too much and then once you are satisfied on how it looks, you are going to click on trace. After it's done tracing, just move the actual image to the side. Then you're going to select the image that you just traced. You're going to select it. You're going to go to your fill icon that looks like a paint palette and color it on the color white or any other color of your choice. Then you're going to right click and release compound path because now you are going to have individual pieces. All those pieces that you trace are going to be individual pieces that now you are able to color or customize as you can see here. Now go ahead and just select every single piece and color it the color that it needs to be as you can see all his outlines seems to go black when i need the the actual color of the grinch if you don't have it there in your paint palette just go ahead and look for an image of the grinch on google you're going to right click and copy that image and bring it into silhouette right click and paste then you're going to use the dropper in the fill icon to use that same color of the green to color his skin Depending on what you want to add to your images, you're just going to go ahead and grab the pattern of your choice. Then you're just going to go down there to your quick access folder. You're going to find the pattern and then you're just going to drag it into Silhouette. I usually like getting my patterns from Creative Fabrica. That is a website that I am affiliate with, but you can also get your backgrounds from Google, Etsy, wherever you want. And then if you have them already saved into your computer, all you got to do, like I said, is access the folder and then drag it into Silhouette or you can just copy and paste as well. So bring in everything that pattern, every pattern that you want to use and then just bring it into silhouette. I'm going to bring it down and make it smaller using the little squares on the corners to not distort the image. And then I am going to right click and duplicate this just so I don't, so I have a copy of this pattern. Once I right click and duplicate it, I'm going to right click and send it to the back and I'm going to put it behind the hat, making sure that the hat is fully covered. Then I'm going to to select my image and select the hat holding down my shift key to make sure both of them is selected then I'm gonna go to my modify icon that is all the way on my right it looks like a rectangle and a square and I'm going to click on crop there is a white piece here right between the hat and the fur that piece is not supposed to be there so I'm going to select the white piece and I'm going to select the back of that is colored black holding my shift key and I'm going to click where it says subtract in my modify icon to subtract that piece from there because that is supposed to be a negative space in there and I'm going to do the same steps right here in the little opening that's supposed to be there so again I'm going to click on that white area hold my shift key click on the back of the Grinch the black piece and click on subtract in my modify icon and then from here you're done and if you want to color the fur go ahead and do so select all the pieces of the fur holding down your shift key and you can actually right click and group group it together so it's all one piece and then go ahead and color it you can go ahead and use the dropper here in the fill icon to match the colors of the pattern that you added there now because you already have traced everything and you already have everything color coordinated how you want it to be all you're going to have to do is select the entire cringe 
and right click and duplicate it and go ahead and keep changing the colors or the patterns that you want to keep customizing other Grinch. I'm going to zoom in really close on his face. There's little extra pieces of white on him that I personally do not want on there. So I'm just going to delete it. Those were supposed to be color black, but I don't care for them. And also there you saw me changing the outline color because once you trace anything in silhouette, it's going to have a red outline. So if you get under the paint fill icon, there's the line style. So you just change it to no color for the lines. Alright, so now you're going to see me repeat the same steps. This is another image. I went to the select trace area. I'm going to make a box around the image. I'm going to wait till everything gets highlighted yellow after it does. I'm going to play around with the threshold. After I like how it looks, I'm going to click on trace. Then I'm going to move the image to the side. I'm going to color the image the color white. You can choose any color of your choice. Then I'm going to right click and release compound path. And then I'm going to start clicking on each piece and start coloring coloring them up again you can use any patterns any colors of your choice and just customize your stuff after you are done customizing select your entire image and um, use the line color style and change the color to no color for the outline because as you can see it now it has red color then you can select the entire image and you're going to group it if you are done you're going to group it and you can also right click and duplicate the entire image so you can keep customizing other images so you don't have to keep on tracing. All right, the same thing with this image. It has two white areas there that are not supposed to be there. There's supposed to be a negative space there. So I'm going to select those two pieces. I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the back area, which is the black. And I'm going to go to my modify icon and click on subtract so it can eliminate those pieces there. And that other extra piece that I left there, I'm going to repeat the same steps. Click on it, hold the shift key, click on the back and click on subtract.
Okay, so for this background that I'm going to add in his shirt, I want the helmet to be able to see and where it says Cleveland Browns on. So once I crop it, you're not able to see much of that image. So I'm going to make sure that I select his sleeves and the shirt and I'm going to right click and make that a compound path. Then once I make that a compound path, I'm going to go ahead and over to my fill icon that looks like a paint palette and I'm going to go to my pattern option. I'm going to scale it down and then right here you'll see that it, once I scale it down, you're able to see it more. Again, the scaling option is in the fill icon that looks like a paint palette. I went ahead and over and got another image because I wanted to change the hat color. So I wanted another orange and that's what you see me here doing. Then once you are done customizing all your images, make sure that they are completely grouped because if they're not grouped, you're going to be uh, moving the pieces without being grouped and you're going to see it here that I accidentally lost some of that fur as you can see me here. So I just right click and duplicate another image and then I just grab the fur from there. As you see me doing it, that was the wrong one. Anyways, once you're done customizing the images, go ahead and group them together. If you have Silhouette Business Edition, you are able to save your images as a PNG, JPEG, and so on. So if you are a Cricut user, you are able to open up the JPEGs and a PNG and go ahead and customize whatever you're customizing. Let's say you want to put this on a shirt for your kids or in, um, right now it's very popular the Grinchmas Eve boxes. You can put these um, there. You can design whatever you want with these images. All right, guys. Comment down below a blue heart if you made it this far. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload new videos. Don't forget to like the video and also comment down below anything else you would like to see from me. I hope everyone wants to have a blessed day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.